Oh, um, you know, I noticed I've been watching, reviewing some of my videos, and uh, I always, back when I was younger, I always noticed how uh, old people, senior people, uh, that car was coming down through there. I noticed how older people, senior people, would, uh, when they're talking, they kind of go about it slow. And it looks like they choose the words real carefully or like they're thinking slow. And I guess that's what it is. They think slower. They're, they're not as... And that's the same thing with me. I'm not... I'm not a real fast talker anymore. I used to be. And... Matter of fact, it looked, from the looks on my face, it looked like I'm trying to think, or I forgot what I was talking about or something like that. You know, it just, I guess that's just part of being old. Uh, I, I like there's no traffic out here. And I walked. I walk old, you know. It kind of crept up on me because when I, when I was 60, 67 or 68, I, I took a spell. I was retired and I wanted, wanted something to do, so I took a job at Walmart. And, uh, at that time, I had a small photography studio and I was doing more of the, um, I done portraits, but the main thing I was doing was artsy stuff you know I, I like to call it that because that to me that's what it was at some point i may post some, some of my stuff um but i i took a job at walmart and uh I just about went by a can. <laughs> I ain't letting that sucker go. <clears throat> well, come a little bit closer, buddy. I like those just mashed flat. See how flat that is? But that disturbed me. I lost my train of thought. Is that a can? Oh yeah, there's another can. Another nice flower. Um. Now where was I? But you know, I was doing photography, which I really loved, and I ain't figured out yet why I quit. But I was working at Walmart, and I worked there for two years. And they terminated me. They, they, they call it termination. I call it fired. 
And um, matter of fact, I could have had a hell of a lawsuit against uh, Well, she snuck up on me. I got a hell of a loss I could have had. But to prove the case, I had to put another employee there on the spot. Uh, she had been there like 15 years, and I didn't want to put her on the spot. But uh, a manager come up to me one night and was really ticked off at me because I was having trouble hearing the pages, uh, which that was part of my job, listening, you know, hearing what was being said so I could go do whatever it is I'm supposed to do. And she stood there and she said, well, I mean, she chewed me out. Uh, because I couldn't hear the pages. And said she had a real problem with that. And I told her, her name was Trish. I said, Trish, when I hired in here, they discussed at orientation about my hearing aids and whether I was gonna be able to hear the pages or not. And I told her, and they, they said that uh, they would probably get me a radio that I could hear, you know, one of them walkie-talkie things. Another can. I'll try not to get what I'm talking about. And, uh... Twisted T. And I said, they hired me in here. They disgusted it. That's the way y'all hired me. And now you're telling, standing here two years later telling me you got a problem with that. And I said, I don't know what you want me to do, but that's the way you hired me in here. And um, this other lady that worked there was standing there. And when Trish walked off, she apologized. She said, oh, I'm so sorry, Russell. And, but she was a witness to it. And when they terminated me two weeks later, it was, I know it was because of my, my hearing, which if you hire somebody in there with a handicap and you let them go because of that handicap, you're in deep doo-doo. And I went, I immediately went to an attorney. But he wanted to get a statement from the lady that was standing there hearing it. And he told me, he said, she, she, she will have to be called. I'll have to get a deposition from her and all that stuff. Um, her name was Carlos. And um, I elected, I elected not to do it. If I can reach that. <laughs> I think I. Nah, I have to get up. Anyway, I elected not to do it. I didn't want to put Carlos on the spot.
And in hindsight, I should have went ahead and done it because I run into Carlos a while back. I was in Walmart. She said, why didn't you sue? I said, Carlos, I didn't want to put you on. She said, it wouldn't have put me on no spot. They couldn't have done nothing to me for me telling what, what I heard and saw. But this is 10 years later. <laughs> she said, you should have, should have popped it to them. She, she didn't have no right doing that. Yeah, that's, that, that was the deal there. But then, let's see, that was in 2008. 2008. And I was in good health. I was diabetic, but I wasn't having any problems with it. Uh, I was very, very active. Um, you know, I was just, because the job I was doing at Walmart, it was called day maintenance. And day maintenance is the fellas that goes around making sure there's no trash or anything in the floors and if there's spills, you know, has, I had to take hazmat training, all that stuff, and uh, so I was very, you know, I would actually, I'd get down on my hands and knees sometimes to clean up something. So I was very active, and I was down to about 200 pounds, and that's 80, 80 something pounds ago. <laughs> but you know, I was. I was just in good, good health. And, uh, my wife, Coffee. Pronto. I need my coffee. Mm. Mm. Stick down there. Get my cup. said one time it is the nectar of the gods I don't quite put it there but he likes his coffee and I like mine too and you may just know of the fella I'm talking about It was the old man on Pawn Stars. Me and him was born in the same state. And I used to live in the town he was from. We were the same age. And our birthdays was March 4th, 1941. So we come up together. He joined the Navy at 18, I joined the Army at 18. Now how's that for a story? He was born in Lexington, North Carolina. 
I was born in Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina, and I lived in Lexington. I also lived in Winston-Salem. So, it's kind of like I've been everywhere, man. Morning, ladies. Good morning. Morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Ain't it a shame what that stuff costs anymore? Some of that stuff's $10 a pound. Uh, you know what? When I'm at Sam's sometimes, they got a pack and it's got like it's hot glue together. Yeah. You get buy one, you get one free. Really? It's about $12. But you get a you get a pack that's that thick. No, it's thicker than that. It's about it's about that damn thick. Yeah. I didn't know Sam's Club was still going. Are they still going out here? Oh yeah, yeah. They were going to build one over here behind Bob Evans, but the but the county didn't want to pay to, for road improvement because there's going to be a lot of traffic in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, stuff. Yeah. That used to be the cheap meat. Fish. You mm. can't even hardly afford to buy any kind of damn fish now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Where I'm from, though, it's rainbow trout up there, and there's all these um, uh, trout ponds, yeah. and you go in there and, and catch all the trout you want. Yeah. No license required or anything. North, in Nanahala, North Carolina. North Carolina, yeah. I'm born in Salisbury. Really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. We used to play y'all's football team there yeah. when I was in uh, Walkertown. But the trout now up there, it, last time I was up there, it was you catch all you want, two dollars a pound, add 25 cents to the pound on it, and they'll they'll clean them for you. Really? So you yeah. One, you get one on this. There you go. That's the deal, I guess. I guess it's a, it's a deal. What's well, that? About 450 a pound? Yeah. Yep. Is that a pound? All right, sir, you have a good day. I'm going to try. All right, dear, this is time six. All right. I got them in my bucket back here and one up here, and you don't even have to bag any of this. Just... Right. I'll just All righty. Mm hmm? Oh, she's talking to her. All right, you go. Now let me pull up. Get out of the way. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right. Well, I'm a little tired, so. Uh, mm. I actually yeah. went to go see actually, the Godzilla movie. Actually, I want movie. 20. Right. Do what? I actually went to go see the Godzilla movie last night, so I didn't see it all late, <laughs> which I regret it now. Oh, I'm it, really tired. <laughs> we all got regrets. I got a bunch. You can accumulate a lot in 78 years. 
I got lunch. But that movie like was awesome. How would you like your cash back? Um, can you give it to me in fives? Yeah. I'm fixing to stop by a yard sale I saw out there. I don't need nothing, but I might see something I like. All right. Thank you, you dear. No, I'm fine, dear. Sometimes with my grandson, him being 29, he's got lots of friends from high school and the Boy Scouts. And all his friends, they're married, raising kids. One of, one of them is a deputy sheriff. Um, I wonder how that makes him feel. I, I, I don't know if it bothers him. Or I just feel so bad for him. And he... Up to a certain point, I had control of his uh, his disability checks every month, and um, about five years ago, I turned it over to his mother, so she controls it now. He gets a little bit, and most of it just goes for call, you know, roof over his head and stuff. I feel so bad. Don't there sits an elephant ear plant. Boy, I ought to snag that, but I'll let it alone. Me and my grandson are still gonna come out here and clean this mess up out here. Well, I suppose I ought to get myself moving here. I got stuff I need to do out in the shop today. Oh, Lord help us. I can't get my done. Yeah, I did. I made it. <clears throat> my legs are stiff sometimes. And I need me a cup holder big time on this thing. Back before my wife passed away, uh, we had thought about going into a uh, pawn shop business. I don't know if we had enough money or not. We had a couple of hundred thousand dollars cash just laying around. And uh, actually, it was more than that. But we thought about going into the pawn shop business and make it like these payday loan things you see now, and doing that. And I don't know if we had enough money to back it or not. You know, two hundred thousand dollars—that's a lot of money. You could buy a lot of stuff. You could loan money on a lot of stuff. But you gotta know what you're doing. <laughs>